Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, and today I'm going to do um, a favourites video. Um, I know most people do these monthly favourites but I've always done kind of favourites on my blog and I was kind of doing them seasonally um, but they kind of always just at random times. Um, I kind of find I don't change up my products and things that I like enough to do them each month. Um, but I thought I would show you the things that I have been really enjoying using lately and um, I'm going to do it in a few different categories um, so I'm going to do beauty, fashion and then just random things um, so I'll get started, I'm going to do beauty first so here we go so number one for beauty um, is the cleanser I've been using lately and this is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous uh, Cleansing Butter um, it's basically a cleansing balm um, it's a really really lovely product um, I've used so much of it, I only have this tiny little bit left and you, you don't need to use a lot of product at a time so I've kind of been a, a little bit heavy handed with it um, but I use this morning and evening um, I have quite sensitive skin um, so I find the chamomile in it is really good for just kind of soothing the redness I get in my cheeks and around my nose um, and because it's a butter and you can kind of take it right up over the eye area I don't need to use a separate eye makeup remover um, I just love it, I love how my skin feels afterwards. So I use this once in the morning, um, most days, sometimes I use a separate one in the morning, but I use this um, on a morning and then on an evening I like, do um, a double cleanse with this, I use this twice, um, and I just absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good cleanser and it's really affordable. A lot of cleansing um, balms and butters are usually a little bit more expensive, um, but the Body Shop's really affordable and I'm just a big fan of Body Shop in general, so definitely check this out. So my second item um, is the Indota Spa Organics um, Multitasker. Um, this is a little bit like um, the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream in that you can kind of use it for loads of different things. Um, and with those kind of things I always end up just using them on, on my lips. Um, so I have this on my lips today. Um, I've kind of got a cold at the moment. I, I, kind of, I feel like I keep getting really breathy when I'm talking during this because um, I can't breathe through my nose properly. And, and my lips have been really dry over the last week so I've been using this non-stop. Um, and it's just really, really nourishing for the lips. Um, I have it on now, and it, it actually kind of almost looks like um, like a lip gloss or something once it's on. It looks like you've kind of done something with your lips, when really you're just like slavering them with, with a balm and kind of hoping that they won't crack up on you. Um, I see, yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I kind of got through it quite fast. I've not really had it too long. Um, I've been, again, I've been a little bit too heavy handed. You probably don't need to use it all the time. Um, but yeah, this is really, really good stuff. My next item is the Oroma um, water from um, from Lush. Lush is another brand, like, I'm always in Lush. Um, less so here, like, I think because it's in dollars rather than pounds, it seems more expensive and every time I go in I kind of like flinch at the price of things, even though it all adds up the same it, it, and it is the same. Um, so I've kind of been in a little bit less, but I'm still a fan, I'm definitely still a fan. Um, so this is a toner basically, and it comes in a spritz bottle, um, and honestly I use this so much, and even my boyfriend really likes it as well. I'll be using it on a morning and he's just like, can I have some? <laughs> so I like spray his face. Um, and it's basically, it's literally, um, I think it's lavender and rose water, so there's hardly anything to it. I've just dropped the lid. Um, so it's really, really gentle. As I said, my skin's quite sensitive. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this is really, really kind of, just really nice and gentle and really soothing for my skin. Um, it just feels so refreshing. If you kind of get a little bit too hot, you just do a little bit of a <sighs> and then you feel nice and refreshed. So yeah, this is definitely a winner for me. So my next two beauty items are kind of together. Um, I've gone and forgotten the name of one of them. Um, the first one um, is the Sleek Contour Kit. Um, I had one of these back home and I kind of, since I got out, I didn't bring a contour with me. I bought a bronzer, but it was kind of like a more like um, shimmery one to kind of just warm up the face rather than to use as a contour. Um, and I've really missed having one. So I um, kind of waited until I had a little bit of money and then I decided to buy um, one of the Sleek Contour Kits. Um, Sleek's actually a cruelty free brand, which is great. Um, and their contour kits, like, they're really, really good. I've used them before. Um, so you basically have the contour shade um, and then the highlighter on the other side. Um, this is the light one. Um, I'm quite fair skinned and I haven't got a tan since being in Australia at all. Um, so the light one is probably even still like a little bit too warm, too dark for me, but I um, just blend it in loads. Um, and then the highlighter is like a lovely peach um, champagne shade and I just use that to go on the tops of my cheekbones. 
And then I just basically use this to try and paint some cheekbones on me. And, and so my other favourite is this, which I think is, it's a Real Techniques brush, and I always forget the name of this one. Um, I think it's like, I'm going to get this totally wrong. Um, I think it's called like the, it's the something face brush. Basically, it just looks like this, and it's just kind of like a domed, kind of like buffing brush. Um, I love Real Techniques, um, this, like the brushes are amazing, they're the only brushes I ever buy really. Um, I have so many, and I love Sam and Nick, and like, I really like buying their brushes because I think they've done so well. Um, so yeah, I use this with this, I kind of use it for both um, parts, I just, um, once I've buffed, um, I do my contour first, um, and then I just go back in with the same brush, just to use as a highlighter. That's probably not a very technical way to use a product, but it works fine and I, I really like both of these. So next on to some fashion favourites. There's not too many of these um, because my fashion has basically been uh, a uniform and then kind of slouching about clothes on my days off um, but there's a couple of things that I've been really enjoying wearing lately. Um, the first things are these shoes um, from H&M. They're kind of like a faux um, snakeskin kind of print um, and they're kind of really like purple aubergine shade. Um, I've been living in these lately. I was wearing flip flops all the time um, but it started to get a little bit colder and um, so I've just kind of been enjoying wearing um, proper shoes recently. Um, I basically bought these, I was looking for an outfit for a party I had with work um, and H&M had like a buy three items, get a fourth uh, free. Uh, when I was buying three items for this night out and then Stephen was like well why don't you get some shoes as well um, and we spotted these and I basically have some shoes like this in, in, in England from Topshop um, and they used to rip my feet to shreds I loved them and I would still wear them because I like to look at them I was like they should be comfy they're just trainers so why are they hurting my feet so much and they never ever broke in like they, they constantly every time I wore them they cut my toes they cut all my heels um, and when I seen these I was like right I'm going to try again because I really love how these kind of shoes look and when I first wore them they were cutting my feet up and I was like no it's happening again <laughs> and I was really upset um, but I persevered again and now they're really comfy um, so I think there must have been a fault with the Topshop ones so I literally wear these all the time they're looking already looking a little bit dirty you know I've got holding them close up but um, yeah I think they look really like cool and trendy and you can kind of wear them with um, loads of different things and even though they're a, a, a slightly brighter colour um, I still don't think it's like too in your face that you can't wear them with um, other stuff and I wear a lot of kind of like like black and kind of plain clothes anyway and um, so they go with most of my things and I absolutely love them um, a slightly random favourite to go with those shoes um, is these socks which I have on now. <laughs> so they're basically, I don't know what you call them, they're like like trainer stuff but even less, like they literally just cover your um, toes and like a bit of your heel. So you're still wearing socks but you can't see them at all with shoes like that. Um, so I've been wearing these a lot too. Um, I had to buy some more because I didn't have enough pairs to wear because I was wearing those shoes so much. So definitely if you want some shoes like this and you don't want sweaty feet, get the socks too. <laughs> so something else I have been really enjoying wearing um, is a little bit random, um, it's men's t-shirts. Um, me and Stephen went shopping um, on the Easter weekend, I vlogged about it so uh, I'll put the link to that video in the down bar. <laughs> and he picked up a couple of t-shirts um, and then the next day we were going out somewhere um, and I was like panicking about what to wear, like I wanted to wear this denim shirt open, um, I didn't have a long top to go underneath it. And he was like, oh well, you could suppose you could wear one of my t-shirts. And I was like, oh, okay, so I wore it. Um, and I really, really liked how it looked. But that was just his brand new t-shirt, so I had to give that back. But I was like, right, I need to get some like oversized men's t-shirts to go under something like this um, and to wear differently. So I popped to H&M the other day. Um, and I've just picked up uh, two. Um, here I am. One is like a purple aubergine colour um, and then one just black. Um, these are both from Divided um, and they're men's kind of oversized t-shirts and I've got them in a size medium and um, I just think they look really cool. I think you can kind of wear them with different things and um, they just kind of look a little bit um, like yeah just look a little bit cooler than um, and not like really feminine they just kind of look a little bit more trendy. <laughs> I sound like really, really weird because like I'm not like a trendy person at all. I like to think I am but I'm so not. So yeah I'm just trying to be a little bit edgier um, with my men's t-shirts and my denim shirt. Um, 
So yeah, that's everything for fashion. So on to you random favourites now. Um, it's funny, I was saying that I'm like I like to think I'm cooler than I am when really I know I'm not because lately I've been thinking about getting a tattoo and to practice <laughs> um, I've been getting really into transfers you know the th like you use when you're like nine, year, 9 and 10 years old to like you'd get like Spice Girls ones and things well I found uh, all these in um, when we were out shopping one day I seen them and they were like $2 per pack I was like let's try some so I've been getting through quite a few trying out different places and what I might like and I do have an idea of what I might like I currently have one on here I think it actually looks a little bit rubbish so I definitely don't want to get in this um, this says um, sun and moon and stars and I have it just on here I quite like this area for a tattoo but I don't like what it actually says but yeah I've been trying those out lately and um, people think it's quite funny and I do too but I think it's quite a good idea to see whether you like having something in an area um, before you kind of commit to having it forever so yeah stick on tattoos they're great <laughs> so my next random favorite I haven't got to show you because it's actually Downton Abbey um, I don't know why, I don't know why I've, I've suddenly like got into it when it's finished um, but I watched like the first four seasons on Netflix um, when we first came to Melbourne um, and then it didn't have um, any more after that but they've recently added the fifth series um, so I've been watching it again and I just love it and I think because like I'm missing England a little bit and it's very it's very English and I don't know I just I, I absolutely love it and like I try and explain to Stephen why it's so good and I'm like I don't know because there's not like loads that happens it's kind of still just like family drama um but it's so good I absolutely love it and and I'm nearly finished the fifth series and I know there's the sixth one um so I'm gonna have to try and find a way to watch that one soon because I need my Downton fix <laughs> Um, so my last favourite is actually a YouTuber favourite um, and it is um, Brian Candice um, I've been watching these a lot lately and I just love them they have such a good attitude they just seem like really really lovely people um, Bri is a singer and Candice um, is his wife and she is like a writer and just things like that and they basically they're like traveling around a lot they're trying to go to every country which I think is such a good idea they've been to like 60 something at the moment and it's um, they kind of take you along with them but they also just do like q and a's and they got married quite young so they talk about that a lot and i just think they are the nicest people and i literally like binge watch their channel um but all their um proceeds they make from that channel um actually go to charity so like i'll happily sit and binge and think i'm doing good <laughs> i'm doing i'm doing good for charity but yeah i would definitely re um, recommend having a little look at their channel because i just think they need um, more sub more subscribers and more people should know about them because they're just uh, such a lovely couple and um yeah I want to be their friends <laughs> okay so that's the end of my video today um, I'm going to leave all my social media links um, in the down bar um, but please um, like and subscribe um, and if you'd like to leave a comment and um, tell me what you think of this video and telling me more what more videos you would like to see and um, because I think it's quite difficult to actually think of um, what I want to talk about. I, like, I really enjoy filming videos, but sometimes I'm like, okay, what should I do? What should I do? And I find it quite difficult to think of things. Um, so I'm going to have, I'm going to really try and um, rack my brain and think of some new ideas for you, but please um, let me know what you would like to see as well. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!